so many great trails around the snowies here for uh, mountain bikers and bike riders of all types, but we're going to hook up today with Jay, the main man from Crackenback and Activate, and we're going to hit the uh, Cascade Trail. Plus a little bit of a surprise later on in the day, but I'm pretty excited by this. Things are going to get easy for me at some stage because we've got the e-bike, there's some pretty heavy trails, so uh, let's get into it, shall we? I'm excited. There's no end to where we go. Uphill and down dale, through creeks and over bridges. This Cascade Hut ride had it all. And the air is so clean and fresh. We were all just loving it. And a special thanks to our e-bikes, as it would have been a lot tougher without them. Well, Jay, we're about halfway right, is that right? Yeah, that's right. We've uh, come up, we're halfway through our ride. We've done one of our major climbs up onto Bob's Ridge, the infamous Bob's Ridge. We're over 18, 1,800 metres now. Uh, so it's, it's been a pretty good hill. Mate, I tell you, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without an e-bike, I don't think. I'm fairly fit for an old bugger, but you know what? Without that e-bike, I don't know, I think I'd still be about 10 k's back. You did all right, Scott. It you is... know what? It just opens it up to a whole new level of riding. Like, everybody should have the opportunity to come and see some of New South Wales' best, and this is what we've got. Like, how good is this? Oh, it's, it's stunning. It's unreal. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, and that really is where the e-bike comes into its own. Yeah. It's all about access, it's it's not cheating up the hills, it's about yeah. bringing you to places you couldn't normally ride. I'm going to laugh off the bike aficionados that say I'm cheating. you got nothing on me. I don't <laughs> care. You're not here. Where are you? <laughs> Look at it. That's it, mate. Look at it. There's no end to where we go. This has been absolutely brilliant. What a great ride. And I mean, you guys that are you know, skilled at riding, get out here, you'll love it. As intermediate people, you'll love it as well. But get down and see Jay and the team down at Activate. They will look after you. It's just a beautiful, beautiful part of the country. And to do it like this is the way to go. Had an absolute brilliant morning this morning on those bike rides through the National Park Trails. Loved every minute of it and we've got more to come this evening. We're doing the Kosciuszko Sunset Ride so that is going to be fantastic as well. But in between of course you need a bit of sustenance, you need a bit of energy to keep going. And I found a little place called Wild Brumby Distillery. It's not all about distilling snaps, there's also some great food here. And you know what, it's just a beautiful spot so let's check it out. The Wild Brumby sits roughly 20 minutes out of Jindabyne and has gradually grown into a thriving operation. And Sebastian Drug is a passionate man about everything on offer. So Sebastian, there's a little bit more to a uh, Wild Brumby distillery than just distilling, yeah? Yeah, no, it became a real thing. We started with a pot of goulash, yeah, then we added some dumplings to it, and then the real, real schnitzel came in. Oh, real schnitzel. Real schnitzel. European schnitzel. Big ones. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, really yummy. Way because we go. thought, you know, you come to the snowy mountains here. Yeah. You come for skiing, mountain biking, mountain bi hiking. Yeah. All those things. Yeah. You have some schnapps, you might as well have some food. Exactly. That sounds yeah. a good idea. You should never some send someone out without a full stomach. Exactly. If they're going to be drinking too. Yeah, right? no. Nah. Just reserve, what does they call it? Responsible service. service. That's the one. Yeah, that, RSA, those things. that's why I don't know much about it. Yeah, nah. Wait, I see though, on a beautiful summer day like this, everybody, there's a great crowd in there. No, nah, A real buzz funny. in the place. Yeah. Everyone's loving it. So you can come here for a feed. You can come here and see a bit of the st distilling, distilling as well. Yeah. So you can get a bit of a tour if you want to yeah, do that. Yeah, sure. And also, you can have a little taste. Yeah, you've definitely. Got to, you've got to take a bottle home with you, right? Well, that's the aim for. Oh, makes makes total sense and to me, eh? I think you should have a tasting later on as well. You know what? I think that's the best idea I've heard you say. Das ist gut, mate. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Let's do it. Years ago we went to Italy and said, hey, let's catch up with another distillery. And they showed us how to make traditional limoncello. And that's how it came out. that's down. how it came out. Well, yeah. I'm dying to try it because I've heard good things. Great right on the rocks, but hey, oh, straight yeah. up. Well, let's go this way. One more. Cheers. That's the real thing. I'm taking one of those home with me, buddy. Great. Beautiful stuff. You've been awesome. Thanks, great Scott. to meet you, mate. And um, yeah, keep I up the great work, mate. Here. I did. I love it. And Come on down, people. You'll love it too. Can I take? <laughs> the 
thousands of years, the original custodians of this lamb were climbing that massive mountain behind me, Mount Kosciuszko. In 1840, a fellow called Paul Edmund Strzelecki climbed it, the first European. 2018, Scotty McRae is climbing it, with the help from his friend here. Scotty. Hey, Jay boy. Listen, well, we're not really climbing it, are we? We aren't. We've got these lovely machines to take us up. E-biking. What's in the kit, mate? I've got some cheese, some bickies, a bit of the local schnapps, which <laughs> never disappoints. You wish you were here right now, don't you? They wish they were here. Let's go, brother. <laughs> the track to the base of Kosciuszko is an easier ride than this morning's Cascade Trail, but just as outstanding. Wildflowers bloom all around and the mountain range just seems to roll on forever. I have to say, the ride and the trek to the summit is definitely worth it. And make it at sunset, because look what awaits you. <laughs>